Even as one of the most storied programs in college football history, this Michigan team has a chance to do something no team has done in school history. A 14th win would set a new single season program record. Holly Rowe is in LA with Michigan. Michigan has been to three straight college football playoff games, but they're looking for their first win. Within moments of losing last year's Fiesta Bowl, their quarterback, J.J. McCarthy, vowed, we will be back, and they are. He said the determination and focus has been something they've talked about every day. After those words left my mouth, it was doing everything I can to make sure that that was going to happen. You know, visualizing it on a day-to-day -day basis, putting in the work behind it because, you know, you can't just dream about it and not do anything about it because those dreams will be left on the pillow. Just being able to, you know, rally the teammates, rally the coaches, just everything that happened this past year has all manifested it, not just those words that I said. It's been a tremendous journey and I'm extremely blessed to be on it. J.J. McCarthy has left no stone unturned preparing for this year's Rose Bowl. From meditation, visualization, he's even gotten a pretty cool mentor, former Michigan quarterback Tom Brady. He told us today that he usually is the one to bug Brady and hit him up. He said he's not sure if he's coming to the game or not, but he will take any advice that he can leading up to this moment. All right, Paul Feinbaum joins us now for more in the CFP semifinal. Paul, you are as familiar as anyone at this network when it comes to talking about Jim Harbaugh and Michigan and certainly what's happened to him this season. For anyone who doesn't know, he was suspended for sign stealing. I even read, Paul, that Alabama players cannot watch film alone to protect <laughs> them. I'm not joking about that, to protect them about any impropriety potentially happening. Let's talk about Harbaugh's legacy here. What's at stake in your view? Well, I think a great deal because outside of three or four weeks of Coach Prime at the beginning of the year, Jim Harbaugh has been the story in college football. And it's almost all been negative other than the fact that he keeps winning and is back in the playoffs. So I think legacy is a great word to use here, Michelle. Uh, you can't lose bowl games every year, which is pretty much what Michigan has done. And this is clearly their best shot. Not a cliche, it's the truth. I mean, Michigan, now that Georgia has stepped aside, uh, looks like the best team in the country. Vegas continues to favor Michigan, but still everyone I talk to uh, and, and most people at the network believe that Alabama is going to win that game. It's hard to it's hard to figure that out other than the fact that, well, Nick Saban is the coach and he has seven national championships in his back pocket. All right, so college football insiders believe that Alabama is going to get this done. Shaky start to the season, though, for Bama, right? I mean, what do you think that Tommy Reese has done well with that offense and that's worked out so well for them that's put them in this position? Michelle, after three weeks, a lot of people were, were ready to send Tommy Reese back to Notre Dame, where he used to be the, be the offensive coordinator. But he finally got it right by, by chance, by accident, or by pure luck. When, when Jalen Merrill got pulled after the second game of the season against Texas, and by the time he came back for the fourth game against Ole Miss, he was a completely different quarterback. He has been one of the best quarterbacks mm. in the country down the stretch, uh, getting in the Heisman race at the last minute after that miracle against uh, Auburn and, of course, the win over Georgia. And, and if Alabama is to advance to Houston a week from Monday night, Jalen Miller has to play at the same level. All right, let's talk about the other game now. Uh, good, good time to be a Longhorn fan, right? Uh, <laughs> Texas makes its college football playoff debut as they take on Washington, which is seeking its second national title. Which team do you have more confidence in, though? I have I have more confidence in Texas, and, and, and that is not a shot at, at Washington, which really uh, had a perfect season, even though it's still hard to believe that they beat Oregon twice, especially that first time. But Texas lost one game. Doesn't look as great now that Oklahoma has dropped a couple, but they have that impressive win, probably the, uh, among the two or three most impressive wins of the year at Tuscaloosa on September 9th. That has carried them almost the entire way. The, the resurrection story of Steve Sarkeesian, years after being shown the door at SC for off the field, uh, indiscretions in terms of public uh, embarrassment. He has had one of the great comebacks in, in modern college football history. And for what it's worth, uh, Arch Manning is taking all the backup reps at practice. <laughs> That's not a bad thing either. Uh, you can catch this one Monday, Texas, Washington on ESPN at 845 Eastern. Paul, great having you as always. Give me something. I can feel.